Hey guys, happy Friday. How are you today? I hope that you are ready for the weekend and that you all had a really fantastic week. Um, we are going to pull a card for today for this glorious Friday. Um, and um, with the intention for what do we need to know and think about today? What will support us? Uh, today um, and for the weekend. So we can kind of use this card and think about it over the weekend as well. Or you can take your own tarot deck if you have one and um, and you can pull your own card um, and see what happens, see what you get. Let me know what you get over the weekend if you, do, if you choose to do that. Um, but also drop in the comments where you are tuning in from. I always wanna hear um, where people are joining in from so that we can create our network around the globe of conscious minded people who um, want to share some of their time with us here at Hugs and Honey. I appreciate it. I really love it. I love having you guys here. Um, so I've just been shuffling the cards. Um, as usual, we are going to be using um, the Rider Waite Tarot deck. Um, and I am using my books by Rebecca Magic uh, for The Royal Path um, and to discuss each, um, each card that we pull. So I get, you know, her insight, you get my insight and her insight. Um, and I am a student of her, so she's my teacher, my mentor. I uh, really love the way that she reads tarot cards. So um, anyway, so I have been shuffling and ready to pick a card, the card that will be great for us today and bring us into the weekend, something that we can all think about that, um, that will work for all of us. Okay, so. This is always a card that I'm like, oh my gosh, we got the tower. <laughs> the tower. Things are falling, structures are falling, and new things are starting. Whenever we kind of get a, a card that feels like doom and gloom, we know that we are ready for a rebirth, ready for a new way of looking at things. So um, the tower sim symbolizes um, a fresh start for rebuilding. Um, lightning is, is something that is symbolic of the tower. Um, it's also called the lightning, this card. Um, and it is, um, it's, it's a force for awakening. Um, so awaken the ways of suppressed growth. Um, and like letting go of materialism is kind of part of this. So the tower is here to sort of prepare us for a change, for things that are going to change. Um, and, um, and so we need to kind of just prepare ourselves for change. Okay, so here, so it's, it's card number 16. Um, card number 16 may be reduced to seven, so one plus six is seven, which implies a direct connection to our Canum Seven, the Conqueror. At this part of the story, we learn what happens when we shine light on the intentions behind our victories. We also discover what follows when we choose to continue in the footsteps of the Black Magician, and what happens when we choose to transform into the White Magician. Sooner or later, we must awaken to the ways which we are suppressing our growth. So how are we suppressing our growth right now? What are the ways that we're doing this? Are we self-sabotaging somehow? Um, so let's see. So the lightning steps in as the force of destruction, which overpowers the self-destructive tendencies of the ego. So we um, develop a false sense of security from material success. So let's make sure that we are not um, only relying on our material success to feel safe, that we feel grounded um, in all ways, basically, um, with our emotions and with our thoughts and with our intuition and our, our fire, our own personal um, energy. Um, let me see. 
so we're just being reminded to make sure that when we're walking our royal path, uh, which is living our life, that we are doing it for the highest good. That all the things, every choice that we make is not only for ourselves, but it's also for the highest good. So that when we do that, um, uh, we start to really see the benefits of life and the universe really conspires to help us. Um, and when we kind of follow the path of ego or selfishness, um, we uh, things start to happen that aren't so great. So um, all material success is temporary. So we must make the most of our material world in the name of progression in the evolution of consciousness. So it's all about being conscious. Um, so, and just remembering that all things material are eventually destroyed. So it, this is just reminding us to not put too much importance on the material realm, um, to stay centered, to stay grounded in the other ways that I just mentioned, um, and to focus on ourselves and the highest truth, the highest good for all involved, and, um, and to recognize that, um, that our foundation, um, that we just might need to look at things in a different way to uh, make sure that our foundation is strong. Okay, guys, so this was a fun one for today. Let me know um, what you think about this card um, and, um, and, you know, think about the ways in which you can um, change, even if it's not literal, it's not like your house is going to fall or things are going to burn or whatever. It's not like that. It's sort of just like this internal infrastructure that you have. Um, you know, just make sure that it's standing on solid ground, that it's not all materialistic and, um, you know, focused on uh, the ways of the ego. So let's just consider each other, consider this message. Just go in and just let it sit and ponder. If you can't think of anything immediately, just, you know, kind of let it percolate and and see if you can um, think of ways in which, uh, you know, you might be able to change the way you're doing things or thinking or, um, uh, you know, how you can, uh, stay on the path of the highest good for yourself and for others. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that today. I see you. I hear you. I'm here for you and I love you. I'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.